emotional. You're dead, man. You're emotional. Tad, you got to do certain shit. It's just a that's never gonna change. Never ever. And shout out to Kende, man. What's good, my boy? I'm an African genius. So from now on, you will refer to me as the African genius. <laughs> I'm right, gonna fade him all the way out, man. What's good, man? How are you? How was the week, the month, the year, the minute, the day? What's going on? Everything's always great with me, bro. You know, I always make bad situations better because I'm me. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, at the age of 43, brother, you can't let shit get you down. You know, so you can't let shit stretch out and none of that. But the week was good, bro. Like, I'm saying I'm on vacation. What the fuck can go wrong? Everything. <laughs> Everything, you know what I'm saying? Been busy, busy, busy. You got a whole, uh, like, a real vacation? Yeah, bro. I mean, because most know. people who have jobs or careers, you know, they get a week for whatever reason. A week. Yeah, you guys. Slavery in it. Like you guys get like a month and a half, two months. I don't. I don't understand it. Can you explain yeah. that that's for a little process to me? Because that shit is stupid. Yeah, y'all need to get better jobs. Okay, that makes sense. How about that? You that know what I'm saying? Sense. A week. You know, what I do with a week. I bro, quit. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all get what three, four loads a month? I mean, a year. We get one vacation, but you can get you can split it up into two segments. Okay. If you want to. And then you can take one whole say, which is stupid, and you get a small one at the end of the year. I'll tell you what, though. If we never got a vacation on this job, the way I will abuse medical systems, I'd always find time to get off. Pause. To be off work. Mm. Period. This, this you know what I'm saying? I like, so, but yeah, I like man, how you do that. As today, today, bro, I, I, just, I just left the dentist's office. You know? And let me tell you something. Tell you your mouth is fucked up, Pause. <laughs> Look here, man. Is inflation hitting the, the, the dental industry as well? Everywhere. My God, bro. Everywhere. The amount of money I, I got gave something up. about inflation, but we, I'm going to go ahead and let you talk. You said facial. Inflation. I said I have to oh, talk about Oh, inflation. My bad. You know, it, it felt weird, dog. You know, like I always say this about the dental dream team located in Chicago, bro. You know, I give them a shout out every time because this they do great work. It's not bad. I mean, it's pay not. us. But that is a beautiful staff they have there. They're courteous. They're nice. They know what they're doing. You feel like family when you're there, man. But today... I had, you know, so many people looking in my mouth. It was just unreal. I, I'm sorry. Can't help it, you know. And then, I can't say screwing in my mouth, you know. Unscrewing things. <laughs> screwing minute. things, wait, you know what I'm saying. Wait a minute. It was just, it was hilarious, man. And for some reason, the uh, anesthesia don't work on me, bro. Well, you're a Neanderthal. It's different. That could be it, too, you know. So They need to up the dosage. Like, once you give me a shot <laughs> in my mouth, once you give me a what? shot, a <laughs> you know what I'm saying. What? They have to get to work immediately. Because if not, <laughs> then with the procedure, to work. <laughs> the procedure, <laughs> the anesthesia wears off, man. And all that shit hurt. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just like, but right now, if I bite somebody, I probably take, I, I definitely take bone. I have okay. all kind of metal in my mouth now. Okay. All right. Trapped y'all looking ass, boy. Okay, meerkats. All <laughs> that right. was dumb as hell earlier. Yeah. Bro. Are, are, are you done about your mouth stories? Yeah. Why, why is it that every time we have to come here, bro, I always manage to do legs that day? I don't know why you're in the gym that much. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Don't start that shit. I'm, I'm saying. Don't start that shit. All right, cool. We won't. We so won't. You'll, you'll never enjoy Hoochie Daddy season? What is that? It's when, you're, it's when your shirt or your shorts. <laughs> it's really your shorts. But since you never going to wear shorts, but you have like Hoochie Daddy hat or something. Nah, man. Shoes. That, first of all, I hate when, I don't know who comes up with these terms. And then they, yeah, just, they just put it on, on the public and everybody takes it and runs with it. I'm not, I'm not that guy. All right. If it was up to me, I'd probably still wear baggy jeans and Tims. Really, like you know, I've gotten a little bit uh, slimmer. All right, with the with the fit, but nah, man, I'm, I'm from that era. I'm from that time. There's no what, need for me to keep up with the times like that. What I'm was cool. appealing about baggy clothes anyway, bro? Wu Tang. Besides the fashion wise, I, I get it. You are people, we, we are people that are famous. They have impressions on us. You know, fashion, music, the things we do, how we eat, restaurants we go to, and things like that. But. When you look back at baggy clothes, dog, it was nothing appealing about that shit at all, no, I bro. I look back at it, it's like, damn, that was trash. It was garbage as fuck, Trash dog. as fuck, but I was fly as shit in that shit. Imagine stores like K&G, right, back in the day. Make a killer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But <laughs> big and tall couldn't get a dime back then, but from fat people. I'm not shaming fat people. I'm not, big this people. This two weeks in the row, you've you been, you been fat shaming. Big and tall for big people, though. Stop fat shaming out here, man. I'm sorry, y'all. I am fat. I'm, I got an inner fat person. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but big and tall couldn't get a dollar back then, bro. You know what I'm saying? In an era where everybody's clothes had to be over fucking sized. You go out of your way to some little designer boutique or store. I could even have your bowls. They didn't have your bowls in, in Big and Tall. Inichi, yeah, the big sure. baggy ass rock aware. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I didn't the, buy too much Carl, 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 Carl Kanai. Yeah. Malone, what was Malone? Malone, Mo Maurice what? Malone. Maurice Malone, bro. Yeah. I'm not Good job, Fubu, for all these black creators in the fashion world that got a dollar back then and stuck their foot in that game. 
Y'all made it possible for Kanye to charge $1,000 for sneakers. You know what? You used the word inflation earlier. And it got me to thinking. Pussy hair's going up. <laughs> got me to thinking, man. I go to the barber shop the other day. Okay. My barber. Shout out to my barber, Marlon. All right? It's no, it's no secret who my barber is. So this is my story, and I'm going to tell it. So I get an inbox about a week before, and he's sending me uh, an IG clip of a barber being very um, calculated with the lining and the, and, uh, the razors. And, you know, he's just, set up. just really taking his time, right? Right. So I said, okay, well, this is an indication that, you know, he's, he's about to make a move, right? So I get to the shop, cuts my hair, and then he says, $40. I said, what? I said, wow. So now you got gas, haircuts, and pussy all cost right. 40. Right. This is a problem. Right. Now, I'm not here to tell you what you think you are worth. I am. But if I have a 20-year relationship with you, I feel like, and I told him, I said, man, I should be grandfathered in as I, far as my price. I agree. Right? I agree. But again, your business, you, you, you run it how you want to. I now have the option to either rock with you or not. Right? So I did the math. You know, that's basically 160 plus if you tip, you know, it's $200 a month to keep myself groomed. Because, okay. you know, I like to go weekly. And then I did the other side of the math. It's I called said, vanity. Oh, well, that's fine. I need to get my hair cut every week. Um, and I did the other side of the math. I said, well, if I go twice a week, you know, I'm actually playing, paying less. You're making life decisions now, yes, huh? Yes, yes. I got to get my affairs in order because <laughs> <laughs> brother was on some bullshit, right? Now, okay. then he says to me, well, this is industry standard and he's been behind a while as far as his prices. He ran that script? Yeah. That's pretty good, though. I said, okay, well, let me let me think about this. Am I actually getting uh, a $40 or $50 experience at your shop and that 35 minutes I'm in your chair? I feel like if I'm if I'm paying $40, $50 bucks a haircut, I need an hour for you to work on my head and get and get whoa. What? Whoa. <laughs> Just a minute. Wait. Whoa. Wait. Marlon, I respect you, bro, okay? <laughs> so, I would never come at you sideways like that. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm just saying inflation is hitting every industry, right? And I think that 40 is a little steep. An hour in a chair, bro? An hour in a chair, bro. Do you get a razor line in? Yes. You want the hot towel and the shaving cream on your face like yes. the old Western saloons? Yes. You want a mimosa too? I, I want, I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want, a whole, I want a whole experience for my time, my travel, and location. I believe in, I believe in, get me in a chair to get a haircut and get me out as fast as possible. An hour uh, is too long of a time for me to be in a chair. But if I'm for paying, me. okay, if I'm paying, you know, to industry standards or, or, or above, yeah, yeah, I, I feel like I've earned it. I've deserved that. You yes. can go to a beauty shop there. That's an experience. Well, at least, hey, if you're going to charge, okay, Marlon, how about this? If you're going to charge a man 40 bucks, when he walk in there, you need to have Griselda playing for him, okay? He needs walk in music. That too. How about that? All right? That too. And then on the TV, because every barbershop has a TV, you know, or televisions, plural, you know, you need to have some shit up with basketball on there. Yeah, you I, know? Need, I need to be able to, you know, personally watch no, what I'm doing. No, no, having control is too much, bro. Okay, come on. Now. <laughs> now, now, now you're crossing the fucking line, bro. I can't control the TV and or the music. Sometimes I don't like the music that's being played. You don't like a lot of music, though. And I may it not must even. Be, must be good shit they playing. I may not even like the conversations that are going on in the barbershop. I don't know how you like the haircut you have, bro. I've, I've seen your haircut week, week in, week out. Damn, all right, so now I'm not shooting on your head. This is me shooting at you. I, I think you're, 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 you're one of the nicest <laughs> in the city. Right? Let me be clear. But again, not mad at you going up on I'm your prices, with right? Because at the end of the day, you got to survive. You got to do what you got to do, right? But again, if you're doing numbers, if I want to get into my accounting bag or my me being a mathematician, bro, in an hour, you, if, you, if you're still getting, getting people in and out of the chair in 30 minutes, that means you're cutting two heads an hour, okay. right? 40 bucks. Her haircut, again, if there's a tip, you're making anywhere from $80 to $100 an hour is what you're telling me, right? So what you're also telling me is that if you really do the math, and again, not getting in people's pockets, but let's just say, um, I mean, basically, you're saying- It's that a needed service, bro. It is a needed service, but you're saying that you now have gone from, I don't know, 80 grand a year, cash business- to now, you know, if we're doubling almost, we're talking 120, right? Easily, yeah. 120, 130. 120 off the streets. 130, yeah. 120 off the streets. Okay. This reminds me of a conversation we had back when we were in those four squares. Yeah. Regarding you and Q. And either paying for the album and not paying for the album. You feel because you've been there through the struggle. Okay, when you first met Marlon, 
Was he, he was he was cutting in his garage? Was he was there? Was he pristine with, with the Clippers though? He was, he was, or has he gotten better? Oh, he, of course he got better. I mean, so y'all brothers of struggle, y'all y'all yes. y'all brothers of the struggle, huh? So yes. you think because of that, your price should increase like everybody else's prices increase? Yes, that's all I'm saying. Look here. That's all I'm saying. Let me take this time to make and, a PSA. Hold on, hold on. And, and also, right at okay. that forty, that now means basically you like restaurants. Like if we don't tip. Tip you're included? Getting, you're, you're, yeah, your tip is included. It's gratuity. Gratuity included? That's, that's it. What percentage is that? 18, 20, or 22? How about that. About, 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 about 18. Meech, my man. That's fine. Not I'm still out, paying 20 bucks an hour. See, this, this is real homeboy love, fam. Oh, shit. Real that's homeboy fine. love. 20 bucks an hour. Hey, he been coming here so you're long. you me, Small. That cam goes to him. I will pay the man in advance for haircuts in the future. Hell, just because. On the strength of. You know what I'm saying? So I think my barber's relationship... My barber relationship is better than yours. Yeah, bro. I mean, I think we use. I think we have a good relationship, right? And this is my friend. He won't pass the ball in the court, though. Yeah, I'm about bust Marlon in. Boy, okay, that's between y'all. <laughs> but you know what's funny is Marlon was a shooter. He could also jump. My barber was a shooter. They both went to Weber too, which is crazy as hell. Did they, they both hoop? They both. Yep, they both went to Weber. They both hoop. Wow, hooped. that's funny as hell, dog. Wow, my barber's, he, my barber's he been, better. He been hung his jersey up, you know. Uh, after Man, we all have, bro. Yeah, nah, he's over. Even at Northern, he wasn't. He wasn't playing. He wasn't in the gym. Uh, he, he refused. Okay. You know. But yeah, that's that that's my, my vent again. I would like to know, you know, how, how women even feel about when their beauticians go. Oh, up. They 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 gonna pay regardless. Arm right? and leg, bro. Okay. Box braids, French braids, uh, get to sew sew in. All this shit, bro. You talk to some of these ladies and these women about the price of their hairstyles and hair and, and hairdos. I'm like, if I was a woman, I'd be Jeanne. I'd be bald head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd have been Jada Pinkett Smith. I'd have been bald head, bro. It's too much. I'd have been EVE. Now, what are they, what do you think they're charging at a barber college? If, 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 a, if a Five dollars, bro. We know Lero. Yeah, I'm, but they got five, to charge more. Five, five. bucks. Ten, no, bro. They don't charge, them people don't charge a lot at all, bro. Well, they give, yeah, they give me I just talked to somebody the other day that has three boys, and I guess depending on how long the barber may have been there, but she says she paid like five, ten bucks tops per head. Mm. And the haircuts be decent. I say, send me a picture. I want to see this. For a kid, for sure. For a kid. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Kid hair is still hair, though. So, so if it's 40, And they move around a lot more, too, though. If it's 40 for now, a haircut, then what is the lining? A dub? You know how you fix this? Yeah, I need that, yeah. Get braided up. Yeah. Get braided you still, up. You still need a lining, though. Hmm? You still need a lining. I, you know what? If I, if I want to feel cute, because you don't like the word cute. If I want to be cute, bro, I'm going to get the sides right here lined up. I don't get the beard lined up or nothing at all. Well, you haven't been Grizzly. to the barbershop in... in, in, in Ages. You say what? You haven't been to the barbershop in, in ages. I have not because you know what? Me and my barber are so good. Y'all can't be good. I can, he should have hey. hit you directly and said, fam, what are you doing? No, I show up at his duplex. We kick it and I get a haircut. I don't got to wait in line, dog. Oh. I didn't wait in line when we was in the shop. Flex. Hmm. Okay. At, at all, bro. Look okay. here. When your barber fuck with you, your barber fuck with you. <laughs> fuck, another shot. Damn, Marlon. <laughs> I got I to give Marlon a hard time, dog. But oh. ladies, I don't know how ladies been doing that for so long, though. Yeah. They, and they have to, sometimes they have to go out and buy product to bring to the beauty salon right. to get their shit done. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yaki number five. But you know what? Who has yeah. the better conversations? Beauty shops or, 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 or barbershops? Barbershops. Because we can fellowship as men. Now, the, the messed up part is when you have a, know, a barbershop and a beauty shop in the same uh A nail shop. tech in the back? Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Why like not? That. Because, because now you, you you know, because you know there are women there, there are women clients, you know, you got the, the women beauticians most times, right? You have to sometimes curtail your conversation as a man. Get the fuck out of here. They, sometimes you do. Yeah, they better close their ears. They adults. If it's kids in there, maybe. Maybe. But I've been uh, an active assailant in conversations in barbershops forever. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about shorty sitting over here. You grown. Your kids, though, I might, I might uh, reel it in a little bit. That's fair. You, you, you man probably talks too greasy at home. You heard this before. Yeah, you, know what I'm you probably got brothers, you got uncles. Well, speaking of women, um, you know, and we're in, we're in this podcast space, and I think sometimes we got to address these things. Um, and again, we don't do the TMZ shit, but I think there's a deeper conversation yes, here. Yes, we do. Um, well, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> you can't, it's, can't you can't avoid it. Bro. Can't avoid some of them. So on, on drink champs, man, shout to Nori. Um, they had Irv Gotti and uh, Ja Rule on, and like the first twenty minutes. It's basically about Ashanti, right? And he's berating her, you know, calling her the B word and this, that, and the third. For and real? Yeah, he was going in, bro. Damn. In. Now, supposedly there's a doc coming out. So I understand if you were hyping it, you know, bring some 
Some Cloud awareness chasing. to it, right? On, on BET, there's a documentary coming uh, out, the Murder Inc. Doc. On what again? Uh, on BET. Who still watches BET in any capacity? Bro, it's trash. It is trash. But they're cutting the check for him, so cool, right? Give still, us a check, too. He still got the tail shit, so, you know, shout out to him for that. Right. But for you to be involved or not be involved with a person 20 years removed and you're still this passionate about how you speak about her negatively... Bro, you you a little hurt, bro. And now this is the second time that I've called Irv saying some flagrant shit. And and the first time was when he, you know, tried to jay down on, on Drake for Drake's last album. When bro, like you know the music that you made with Jock on the singing shit. You know what I mean? And and being, it, mel- it kind being of melodic. It. Yes. it kind of pioneered the music into the spotlight. But I was singing a long time ago. But Ja Rule and Irv and Murder Inc. kind of pioneered that kind of sing That's song, how. melody rap yeah. into the spotlight. Yeah. You know, and and which wasn't bad though, because Rule three three six was the shit. Fire. <laughs> Fire. Shit, I like uh, Benny, was it Benny Betty Beachy? No, the first one, Betty Betty yeah, Beachy. Yeah. What the fuck uh, you call it? Velveeta, you know. Shrimp Fettuccine? There you go. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, I, I just think that's corny. Like, if you don't rock with her, cool, just say, man, you know, I ain't really got nothing to say to her. Like, for me, if people say, man, and, and I haven't seen somebody in a long time, they'd be like, man, you still talk to us, such and such, or where? Where, where, your, where your man's at? Man, I ain't talk to him. I leave it at that. I don't be like, man, I'll fuck with dude and just go into just a whole wrong. a whole little, you know, story, really. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not in my circle. Well, he was on TV, though. He had to give him something. Though. He had to give him some, some juicy tidbit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? To yeah. say something. But I, I thought, I saw a, a clip. Uh, I must be honest. I don't watch a lot of other podcasts because I don't have time. And plus, we're concentrating on this one. So I, I get to see clips and highlights, you know, and things that's posted on uh, social media platforms. So uh, when I, I heard about this, I'm looking like... That's weird, man. That's really weird. You know, you like you said, you haven't dealt with somebody in so long. But the part I saw was when he said that she made the song happy after they had fucked. Right. Like I was you, like, you what? You ratchet and raunchy and shit, yeah, bro. I don't want to hear about you beating. Well, I watch porn. So I don't give a fuck about the stories and shit because I actually saw the visual part of the story. I don't hear about you and your motherfucking man titties going to the shower to take a shower. <laughs> I mean, or laying in the bed and her in the shower singing some shit and she made a song because of you. To me, that's hoochie daddy behavior. Mm. And we mentioned Hoochie Daddy clothing earlier. That's Hoochie Daddy behavior, bro, because to me, time passed, it should quell a lot of quill a lot of stories and the want and you will. Say, you say quill? It should quell. Quell. Quell a lot of uh want and will to tell stories. Duck? It's a also bird? a bird. It's, it's a bird. bird. Okay. You know, it's it's a bird, but get out of here, bro. Right, I'm just it is though. <laughs> it's not the same thing. <laughs> but when you are, I didn't know about the BET thing, so that could be this cloud chasing dog, but I think it's weird how, if I'm saying this correctly. If that's a whole different conversation, bro. I can't do that. That's, that's a different conversation, dog. I, I, that was, to me, it was pretty lame. Yeah, it's pretty we, lame, we man. That. You know, like, Irv, Irv, you made too much money, man. You know better than that. Nobody will hear about your motherfucking. Uh, unless y'all get two actors, you know, and then call West Coast Productions and make the porn. You know, what I'm saying call it murder that pussy or something or murder that whatever you want to call that shit, bro. Then, then do that. But if not, then, bro, shut the fuck up. But when you get on shows like this and you want to be relevant, because people blame Dane for this, and we don't know these people like that. I don't know them like that, though. You were in the industry way more than me. Uh, people were saying Dame was cloud chasing for all the stories about Hove and how the business wasn't right and this, this, and that, and that. And you cloud chasing, cloud chasing. Irv, you starting to you starting to go down a path where you know it seems like you're looking for attention and you want to stay relevant. Now, the but ch- Irv ain't broke. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? Like, I don't know that. According to him, he ain't. I don't know that. Right? You know what I'm he, he got he got. Some I know a Shanti was looking good at Summerfest though. Facts. And Shawtown appreciated her. Facts. I know that fucking much. And us. In the media section in a podcast space working on number bro was right mm. there. We got to mm. see her and her greatness, her yes. singing, yes. her classic yes. hits, Preach. her announced to our Preach. fans that she's in the Guinness Book of World Records. Preach. Hey, look here, don't let a motherfucker sell your shine, girl. Preach. Do what you do. Now, if she come out and say, hey, uh, tell her, uh, if she comes out and tells a different story or even the same story about some spicy or some salacious shit, bro, then I hey, y'all pubbing this shit up, bro. Yeah. Y'all pubbing it up. Yeah. I think everything, a lot of things are staged. We think we think it's real. No, for sure. You know, but again, Irv, man, you know. $40, I, bro. That's a lot. Yeah. That just hit me in the heart right now, bro. Yeah. But again, it, you know. So what was you doing with the other 15 bucks? Shit, buying some barbecue when I leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, extra large, so he, man. He, so you literally taking food out of your mouth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Good call, man. Good oh, call. Marlon, Marlon, Marlon. Um, also, also in this hip-hop space, man. Oh, I know boy. last week we talked about with Dion. Shout out to Dion, man. Um, my man Mace Mace in this whole little situation with, with the new rapper and all this nonsense right so Mace now is so I guess the rapper I don't even know his name what, what's his name Fabio Foreign yeah there it is right supposedly now Fabio he got, he got a song cleared by uh, Puff right is uh, it a diss track 
supposedly, right? Oh, so Lord, now Mace is now God. supposed to be signing with Death Row, right? So look look at what media does. We're we're talking about we lost two of the greats because of this this and shit and uh bad boy versus death row, right? So now here we go again, and Mace is like, all right, well, we're gonna kick this off. And now I'm a, I'm I'm a link up with Snoop, and he about to go in. Now I fuck with Mace, you know what I'm saying? I fuck uh, with Mace and Snoop, bro. Yeah, uh, I don't fuck with this five year old cat. Not not for me. I fuck with, with him, music, bro. You know at all, but again, more anybody getting the bag? You give give him a round of applause for getting the bag, bro. For sure, for sure, for, for, for sure. getting the bag. Well, you ain't got to literally give it to him, but you know okay. he getting the bag. So we fuck with him in that way, man. He ain't out here hitting cats over the head and doing the goofball shit to get the bag. He getting the bag by rapping. Now how good is he rapping? He's not my cup of tea. Yeah, I mean, and then how many people are really gonna listen to Mace at this point? He's the face of New York drill, though. Since pop, is he? pop hairs, yeah. Okay. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? Well, shout out to you, young boy. Do your thing. And, and to hear that, I, now I did watch, because the way Dion said, man, y'all got to watch Mace on a million dollars worth of game. So I went and checked it out. And I'm not going to lie, it kept my attention, bro, for the most part, because you could see, it reminded me of you a little bit. I don't know why you get nervous sometimes, bro, when we, before shows. It's like a... a Maybe it's the it's the, like it's the like your Willie Beeman will be great when you do things. Yeah, yeah, it's like your Willie Beeman thing. You know what I mean? You know, you know what you do before every show that y'all will never see. <laughs> yeah, I can't no, say that. <laughs> say, yeah, you're right though. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, dog, he seemed nervous and uptight and didn't want to you know let the, let the the juicy information out, bro. But then once he got calm and the receipts started flowing, it's like, bro, this is real deal. But to hear about him signing with Death Row, that shit's hilarious, dog. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious, man. To know that all of the People that should be in the Rap Hall of Fame, all the songs that are going to be in the Rap Hall of Fame from these two labels, these two labels separated a fucking country, bro. Right. A country when right. it came to hip hop. Right. When it came to people even visiting, where are you from? This side, this side. And we were in Chicago, we were like, fuck it, we got our own shit. We got mm -hmm. our own culture, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, had a, we cracked the scene in our own way with our own style, and I'm forever going to love Chicago for that, bro. You know, twice. But we know what side of the fence you wait, landed on, though. Wait a minute, bro. Chicago has impacted the hip hop scene. Twice, two major fucking ways. The double time rap, that's our shit, bro. Yes. That's our shit in the Midwest. Yes. Chicago specifically, in my opinion, and it's drill. Mm. Yeah, everybody trying to copy drill, bro. You're going to give us our credit one day. Y'all yeah. going to give us our goddamn credit one day, bro. I double time started, though. I oh, was yeah, a good yeah, rap. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I like that. I like that. Good point. It's just point, the truth, point, bro. But again, we know what side of the fence that you landed on. I do prefer no, uh, no, 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 no. West. Don't stand on it. I do prefer West Coast rap. You know why? Because I don't want to have to listen to... Uh, how about this? Sometimes I want to turn my brain off and just hear a story and just enjoy it. A lot of times you'll get that a, a little more frequently with West Coast rap. This is no slice of East Coast rap. Sometimes I do want to hear the metaphors and similes, you know what I'm saying? The paradox and the paradigms, and you know what I'm saying? All I want to hear that shit, son. Oh, you, that's you, fine. I sound like I look like Conway right now when I'm talking and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that boy said, did the worm. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> yo. No, sir. Anyway, though, man. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, um, bro. What's your thoughts on the uh, DOJ all right, charging the uh, the four officers and uh, Breonna Taylor's killing? Long overdue, man. Long you know, overdue. justice delayed. I forgot the, the historic saying, but I'm just going to paraphrase that shit. Justice delayed, bro, to me, is not justice at all. It's not. Because these guys, these killers, these murderers have had time to get their affairs in order, set their people up straight. Just in case something does come down the pipe, pause, you know what I'm saying? They are prepared for that shit, bro. And dear Brett Hankinson, I think it was his name, the guy that tried to sue Breonna Taylor's family or counter sue them because he lost his job or whatever, the details of that were, now you got these charges pitting against you again. I hope you don't beat them. I don't think you can beat them because she should still be alive. You guys lied. You guys, in Chicago, we call it Rule 14. You took an oath, no matter what department you fucking work for, whether you mean it or not, you raised your hand, put your hand on the Bible, you hand on your dick, you took a fucking oath, bro, and you said, like doctors say, do no harm, you, 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 you swore to protect and serve anybody who needed it, regardless of how you feel about these people. And to lie, in order to get an upper hand to do some selfish shit like they did to uh, serve a drug warrant at this address, they verified, they didn't verify the address, didn't verify the info. They didn't take any precautions to make sure nobody else was hurt. They put everybody in that complex, in that building in danger. And you want to sit here and, and ride around and have picnics and skate and, you know, enjoy your fucking privilege and shit like that, bro? Get the fuck out of here. The charges pinned against you are slaps on the wrist because they aren't manslaughter or murder charges. Right. They're for falsifying information and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And she, she, should, she should absolutely be alive, bro. Absolutely. That's a damn shame, man. And the, pro the, 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 the problem is... 
these issues are continuously revisited over and over and over again, and they're steadily killing our our young men, our young queens and kings, and it's the same outcome, right? Facts. I don't know. I don't know what else can actually be done, and we've had this conversation a million times. But I think you just said it best when you talk about um, delayed justice. It gives them time to bob and weave and be strategic. So when yep. The sentencing comes down, you know, it's not as bad as it would have been if it would have been right immediate. Away. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. bro. Yeah. You That's know, terrible. So, I mean, it, it was just reading, and I'm, I'm going to be quiet after this, but reading what they're getting charged with, and I'm trying to look it up, but I'm not going to fucking worry about this shit, bro, because it's not what they should be charged with. But reading everything that went into them, leading up to them doing what they did that fateful day in March, bro, it makes you want to cry again. Yep. Makes, makes you sad all over again. It makes you upset again because I think it took us until recently as a culture to regain tears to cry again for, for all the hurt we go through, bro. Because for a while, we just had, whenever something happened, we just get angry, angry, angry. But somehow we grew up as a generation and it was, uh, it was deemed okay again for us to be in touch with our emotions as a culture, even though there's a huge divide and, and a lot of shit. But as a union, when something's happened, you can't help but side with it the people that are being wrong. And that was us, man. So it took us a while to get our tears back. But now, uh, since we have them back, let's get our voices up. Right. Let's get our voices up, bro. Right. And, and you know, fuck you to the dude, the special uh, prosecutor, the black dude that said that wouldn't find, you didn't find uh, enough evidence to oh, charge none of these officers. The I forgot his fucking the name. Coon, yeah. I, the Daniel coon. something. Yeah, he's been calling for a while. He's been yeah, fuck him. You know I mean? see, but see, this is my thing too, though. So now, if you bring in an attorney general and he finds... He finds reason to charge these guys with something. You couldn't find shit back then. You special at what? Special at doing nothing? Special at your favoritism? You're being biased? No, it's, it's crazy. Well, he, got, he, he got the bag dropped off at his door. And yeah, or threatened. Or, and or threatened. One or the other. You ain't threatening. You can't threaten that man. Well, you know what? He was running for position in Republic, uh, Republican Party to point two. I remember that okay. as well now. Yeah, so good. Fuck him anyway. Um, you know what? I forgot to talk about this. And, you know, we've talked about shows that uh, or, or movies that need to be re rebooted or, or maybe not rebooted. Um, they were going to reboot House Party. And now uh, yeah. HBO Max was going to drop it. But now they're not. And it was going to be with uh, my man from the shy uh, by way of Milwaukee. Uh, Lattimore, Jacob Lattimore was right. starring it. And I don't know. I don't know if I think that's one that needs a reboot because I, I I saw him on uh, Iman Shumper. Shout out to uh, Iman. He gives great sound bites, bro. Yeah, I yeah, fuck with Shumper, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Shout great sound bites. Uh, Iman, do you think, bro? Friend of the show, we 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 working on something. Um, but yeah, on, on his podcast, he was saying like it's not necessarily a reboot. It's it's a um, a, a restart or a refresh. Right, it's a so, story retold. Yeah, so I feel that, like, and I kind of want to see it because if if they were Whoa. able to do, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a minute, wait. That's <laughs> never gonna get old, dog. I swear to God, that, that was, you picked the perfect. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cool. I mean, you know, I'm genius, man. Don't worry about it. You know, you know the barber, though. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, 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 I'm searching. The boy I'm searching. don't get no rest now because he always at work. Boy, in his pockets are hard at the barber shop, man. Um, but no, so they they rebooted like um, several movies, bro. Did we need a reboot of American uh, Coming to America? Did, not, did not, we? Not really. But it was okay. How you gonna give a mom some love and then then did something his wife was in? <laughs> I mean, she got a bag. We I'm love not you, mad Tiana. at that. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, again, man. You know, <laughs> Broadway is her tour DJ. You know, friend you of the go. show, right? right. Um, so you know, there, there's some things y'all. If y'all listening, y'all pay attention. Y'all gonna see how we gonna do all this. It's well, gonna so be crazy. Let's let's take you here then. Now you hear in our tender ripe age of you know forties. I'll leave it there. Fo fo fo. Right. You hear the sounds from the nineties. Our youth, which is. Our, our adult youth in the '90s, you hear these sounds being remade. Like they not sampling these beats; they are using the exact same beats. Like somebody just rapped on Destiny's Child, uh, "Cater to You." Mm -hmm. Didn't change it at all. It's just there. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. So, if you are okay with these songs being remade, these beats being remade, why not be okay with these movies being remade? It's because one is visual, one is not. No, nah, no, because you can you can remake a song and it, and it be trash, right? Um, I just Thanks. saw just saw a clip where Prince, a, 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 a fucking genius, he said, "Man, it's going to get to a point where the sample has already been sampled, and now it's going. They're going to sample the sample." Facts. That's true. You know. Um, so what, you know, Prince is way ahead of this. What movie. would make you? What movie would make you upset if it got remade? What, what would just piss you off? You wouldn't even you wouldn't even go look at it. What would piss you off? 
for me, a classic like uh, "Don't Remake Life," "Don't Remake School Days." Um, I think I think a Cooley High remix uh, would, would be kind of dope. How? I just think it good. I, it's I think Cooley High. Don't don't remake like "Above the Rim." Um, Facts. What else? Don't remake Men's in Society. No, don't. don't do that. Don't remake uh, Into the Dragon with Bruce Lee. Don't remake The Last Dragon with Bruce Leroy. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. So again. But and please, because it's trash, don't remake Love and Basketball. Leave that shit in the bottom <laughs> of the fucking can where the fuck it is, okay? The, the, to me, that movie makes every list. Scariest movie, Love and Basketball, because the acting was so fucking bad, all right? It does. It, it, uh, it, it makes, okay, best Halloween movie, that shit. Best Christmas movie. Uh, love and basketball. It's the gift that keeps on giving because I can find something wrong with that motherfucker every time I fucking watch it. It's, why do women love that movie, dog? Because it's about love and basketball. Do the you two, like that shit? The, the two things that, that black people love. Do you we love love? love? And, yeah, we, I love love. You love basketball? I love basketball. You don't love your barber right now? Do not. <laughs> <laughs> do not. We're fucking all. with you, Marlon, man. Uh, what else we got, man? Hey, you know what? Let me let me let me jump into uh, ch- to Chicago a little bit, man. Um, they I, I read that they roughly have 180 CPD officers and specialized units moving back to their districts. Um, what does that actually mean when 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 this comes out? Can you? Yeah, get elaborate, example. please. Let me see so. My name is Amon Phillips. I got a Tesla truck. All right, I live in the Flyers High Rise in in uh in Miami. Okay. My wife is perfect. My life is perfect. Somebody has me twenty dollars. Are you really gonna notice that shit? Is it gonna make a difference in your life, bro? No, at all. That's what the fuck this is, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You had a hundred and eighty officers to a force of about eight thousand officers in a city of over five million. What the fuck is that gonna do? And what specialized units were these? Were these like uh, the cap's office? Who these cats? They police the streets in eons. Is it the uh, what about okay so buildings unit? What about the gang gang intelligence? Why would, why would they move them, bro? They need I don't them. know. I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking. I don't know. I, I just thought it was weird to say, to say that you're moving. Can you see a motherfucker telling uh, eighty pl- uh, police officers? Can you see a motherfucker telling big swole ass motherfucking uh, Haven? You got to go out on the street. Haven be like, fuck about it here, fam. Yeah. Go on, go on, go on somewhere. Okay. It, it's, it's not going. It's, it's, this is what happens. So, when you have a boss. Go ahead. So that so the reason for that move is because of the it's, violence that's quote unquote going on out here. And they need more, more boots on the ground. They need 180 officers in Austin alone, bro. In 15 alone. In 7 alone. In 6, 3, 4 alone, bro. The purpose of that is to... You know how in these mob movies where everybody getting money, cocaine flying, women everywhere, you know, the cars looking good at casinos, blowing, you know, blowing cash, BMO, Detroit style, you know, they getting, they getting paper. But somebody say one day, say, hey, that fur coat's too nice. Let me go look at the books. Got it. And the books are cooked. This ain't shit but cooking the books, bro. They're 180 to tell us, to tell us you're gonna move 180 people, it's really like kicking us in the balls, bro. The people that need need protection, it's like kicking them in the balls. It ain't doing nothing, bro. You're cooking the books so the numbers look good. Well, this year we moved this many officers. Last year they moved a, a hundred some other officers to another unit. We p- took people off. They already told you, we taking people off the desk and put them on the streets to fight this violent fucking crime. We're gonna bring the city back to peace. Hey man, GDs, BDs. Moles, foes, lords, they laughing. They sit back laughing. She's like, huh, 180? Oh, we probably know half of them. Anyway. Got it. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to do nothing. Now, I also thought it was strange, too. And they going to do Why? Why do, why do, why does the city feel it's necessary to tell the public what they're doing, right? I thought this was weird. They, I, there, was a, there was a story that came out, and she was saying that, okay. Who is she? Lightfoot. We're putting X amount of cops in these specific areas of the city for DUI to catch people in DUIs at a specific time on a specific day. To me, that just means, okay, I'm not going that way today. You know what I mean? Like, just what sense does this fucking shit make? <laughs> yeah, I mean, just come on. Help, help me understand. I like, this is just stupid shit, man. Um, but also, man. But though, she didn't have to do that. You know police. Police have lots of friends. You know, everybody know police. If I know they're putting a checkpoint somewhere, I always call my people and told them. I say, pass the word. Don't go here. Don't go there. I want to thank you, though, Lori, for giving black folks a break finally. Because these speed cameras and red light cameras are all in what? Minority neighborhoods. Black neighborhoods, all right? And Pilsen and Little Village, too. You know, let's, let's not leave them out. Uh, so about time. So when they set up these DUI stops, they're not set it up in 19, you know, in Lincoln Park, Wrigleyville. They, where they, where they get hammered. Lit. Yeah. They, they be driving down the street backwards, bro. Yeah. And get mad when you stop them. 
Like, what am I doing wrong? Fam, you, you driving, you driving a car backwards, <laughs> but your hat is on a dollar bro. And fucking yeah. Clark, man. With cocaine flying out of the goddamn window, bro. Yeah, man. So thank you for letting us know that. Uh yeah, shut up. All right, and then we also we also had um a, a disgraced CPS charter school. The uh, guy got caught. Well, you know, let me say not caught. He's accused of uh, assaulting, sexually assaulting uh, children in, in, in his school. And let's see here. This is at Chicago Urban, Urban Prep. Uh, accusations of sexual misconduct with a student. Again, I don't know what goes. Do they do a background check for these teachers and administrators and these CEOs of these charter schools and CPS and, and at these, uh, these Catholic schools that you pay for? Because... I can't imagine that this is his first time. Oh, we can. We say he's guilty already. If he is, if he is, let's is. be very clear with our words. I, that's why I, I use the okay. term accusation. If he is, this can't be his first time. You know. True. Yeah. Um, I, I I just don't get it. I don't get why a grown man who who, who makes a decent amount of money you there to, you're there to be Got a nothing to do with his dick. You're there to be a pillar and be an example and to teach and mold these yeah, children. And you look at a little girl or a little boy and find something sexual about it. I just said that. Well, you know, we are in a time where uh, we grew up in an era, first of all, where we saw this shit all the time. These grown men stayed coming to Lane Tech, picking our girls up, for one. I say, I don't like they belong to us. How fucking stupid was that? I mean, there was a specific guy, you know, at Lane that I'm, I'm going to leave, <laughs> you know, out that it was presumed, right, that maybe... He was on that, right? But again, okay. I can't prove it. And I don't think he will ever admit to it. Obviously, he wouldn't. And, and, and maybe he shouldn't. And hopefully, he stopped the behavior by now. But as far as uh, Mr. King goes, I'm going to say his name because it's in the article. It's in the links you know, we post. Yeah. So, Mr. Tim, Tim King. Tim, 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 uh, Tim King. Excuse Tim me. King, you know what I'm saying, was accused of violating, to a degree, you know, in the sense of the word, a 16-year-old girl. And I know a teacher now. I know a teacher now a female teacher that was accused of hitting a kid with a student. I mean, with a ruler. And how you hit a kid with a student? Mm. This is an animal. You hit a kid with a ruler. And I, I know I know this woman. She's not like that. And everybody that knows her uh, knows she's not like that. And the sad part about this is she was up for a principal position and this is holding her back. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The student was upset because the student couldn't get their way. Now, you know, uh, this has nothing to do with that except I'm trying to make the point that sometimes people lie. Kids lie all the time. I'm not saying this young lady did. I don't know the story, the background, the history, but if you are innocent, why would you not fight to clear your name, though? And then he resigned. Fight to the death, fam. And then he resigned, which is odd to me, too. Did he go to jail? No, not yet. So, so imagine why he resigned then. Tell me. We're not, we're not going to press charges if you fucking leave. Now, to me, that, this, would tell, this is what it tells me from a law enforcement standpoint and from being raised in the field where I was raised by educators. Look here. We can't prove what she's saying is true. But we know you. We know that this is not your pedigree. And we can't have that asterisk on our school. On our name and, and, and charter or whatever, whatever the fuck it is. So what you can do is you can leave with any benefits you were going to have at this time when you're leaving and wipe our hands of it. I mean, this guy was named, once named the Hero of the Year by People Magazine. And Urban Prep uh, for years has, has uh, considered this a big story for them and, and, and a big accolade for them. Um, but it, so to me, it also lets me know that at the end of the day, you shouldn't even be in a position or, or put yourself in a position. That's not fair, bro. I, just hear me out, though. Hear me out. Hear me out. Whether, I, I whether, hate listening to you. Whether, whether she, <laughs> if she's lying or not, right, you should not be in a position where she can lie on you in that manner. Like what because, you mean? Because, again. They, to, they, they might not have even been alone in the room or anything. I, okay, okay, we don't, we don't know. Just lie. We don't know. But, okay, if you lie and say, hey, man, he assaults me at 3, 3 p.m. on Tuesday, and on Tuesday at 3 p.m. I wasn't even working. Tuesday's like, dangerous, you know. Like, you know that I'm not even in the building. This is a bold-faced lie. She has to go, right? So I'm saying, hopefully he's never put himself in a position where he's been questioned. Right. What, what I'm saying. Whatever happened, bro, he couldn't, he didn't have a solid enough alibi. Yeah, because they, 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 they fired him. To say Shorty is a lie, it. and they couldn't prove it. But see, I wonder if the 16-year-old girl sued because now, if they didn't, this would tell me a different story. If she sued, if the parents, the mastermind behind any kids, you know, come up at that age. It's the parents. The parents sue, bro. Then maybe it was something to it. Maybe they saw something 
or they ran it past several different attorneys, and they said, oh, yeah, you got a case, because CPS, the city of Chicago, Joe, if, if somebody sneezes on you to work for the city, and you fall down, bro, you can sue them people. Yeah. Chicago pays out, and I think Lori is the first mayor, so you got to give her credit where it's due. She's the first mayor that will have the, office, the appropriate offices, corporate counsel, the appropriate, the appropriate offices fight lawsuits. Like, we're not we're tired of paying you motherfuckers. I don't know if I, if I get her in the city job, bro. Guess what I'm gonna do? I mean, she was the head of COPA, like so that was her her job. So she knows the insides and outs. She, she knows. She knows. Shout, shout out to Lori. You know what I mean? She's not gonna get it right all the time, but shout out to Lori, man. Um, what? Also, man, shout out. What to, did you just say? She's not gonna get it right all the time. Oh, yeah, facts. I mean, it's just, just that, was, that was a look of disdain, bro. Yeah, just, she's not my boss. She's yours. Uh, you, I know you don't want to really say nothing bad about her. You know what? Right? I'm, 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 I identify as a Christian today. My boss is the Lord. You a Christian? No, not really. Okay. Today I am. I identify I as a Christian. I thought you was a Baptist, at least. I identify as that, bro. Okay. All right. So you change the religion every week uh, to week. I'll probably be like Brother Abbasi X tomorrow. I like that. It's cool. I like that. A brother I like Abbasi variety. Tahir X. I like variety. I like variety. Yeah, yeah. yeah I bet. <laughs> that <laughs> makes sense. You <laughs> 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 freaky ass little boy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Fucking uh, uh, something. Whoa. All right, look. So we also got... Brother, Pastor Corey Brooks. I'm he, so tired of hearing his man name, bro. No, but he reached his goal, man. 18 million, man. 18 million to begin demolition of the new Woodline Community Center. To do what with? We don't know yet, man. And hopefully it's the right thing. But again, to sacrifice, stand on your principles, and reach a goal, Yo. right? I love it. Yo. I love it. I would love to sit down and talk to him to pick his brain a little bit because I, I think that's dope. Um $18 million to tear down something that should have been torn down long ago and give his community opportunities. He's doing I what again? So. He's like, he was raising money to... Uh, the, how's he doing? Like, is he like, uh, taking another hiatus across the country or something? No, he was, he was in, in, on his rooftop in, in the Chicago Cole. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, well... Uh, I, I know that, that part then, yeah. but now how is he... So he raised the money already. He raised the money. Okay, he raised cool. 18 million. So again, I'm not, that's that's low key black excellence. Bro, man. do he, he hate being at home that much? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, he walked across the country, stayed on rooftops, everything but go home to his motherfucking wife or his woman, bro. Hey man, you what know, the fuck is going? You, you didn't think about that, did you? I, I didn't, but that's goddamn. It's sacrifice for the greater good, <laughs> man. Okay, all right. You know what I mean? The greater good. I might, and, might and, be sticking that. All right, now, all right, he, now. He <laughs> obviously felt that this is what he needed to do because no one was investing in that particular neighborhood. Another youth center. Cool. Hope it has a uh, Wi-Fi. Hope it has a. Uh, it's a warming shelter. It's a warming shelter for uh, people that are displaced in case of emergency. I hope they hand out lunches uh, and food in the summertime to kids that need it. You know what I'm saying? I, I really do hope that this community center. And see, this is my my problem being a black apologist, bro. I, I I hope I hope that everything black succeeds, bro. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you see the same idea over and over and over again. You get discouraged a little bit. Now, how many community centers can we build, bro? How many jerk spots can we open? How many Southern Comfort food spots can we open? How many nightclubs, bars can we open, you know what I'm saying? Until we get a picture of, you know, hey, maybe that's the ceiling what they'll give us, what they'll okay, what they'll fund, you know what I'm saying? But I hope this community center wins, man. I mean, because Lord knows our kids need that shit. They need it. Yeah. Um, well, hey, fam, go home. <laughs> she missed you. Go home. <laughs> maybe she was up there in the cold with him, man. No, she was not. Yeah. Her age, you probably left. Man, first of all, this you, was, ra you raised that for, kind of money. This was Jesus. No way. Right. He was the, Lord, the Lord told her, go to the beauty salon, go to her nail tech, he was go juking, shopping. He was juking for Jesus, man. Don't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? This is, this, this is for the world. This is for the population. There's no way his wife was on any rooftop with him. <laughs> any cross-country head is with him. No chance. Also, I saw that um, they had a list, which was interesting. Um, the most corrupt addresses in the the Chicago area. And I thought this was pretty interesting. It was hilarious, bro. Um, just to kind of, I don't even know what metrics that they use to decide these addresses, but just to give you an example, 1940 West Foster Avenue. Yep. How was that address a corrupt address? Just just read, read the address. Don't say nothing. Okay. Just, just okay. read the address, bro. Uh, seven... 31 North Wells. Okay, cool. Come on. Where else we got? I'm going to count while you do that, okay? Go ahead. Roosevelt and Costner. Not going to count that. Yeah, man, that's, man, that might be fair. Uh, they all fair. I'm going to tell you why. 4060 South Pulaski. That counts. 2869 South Archer. That counts. 2934 West Sunnyside Avenue. That definitely counts. 
42 West Madison. That counts. 6500 South Pulaski Road. No clue what that is. Uh, 2200 Euclid Avenue in Arlington Heights. That counts. It's not Chicago. Uh, yeah, that, you know, that, that, that about sums up. I think, I think you mistaken the word corruption for violent okay. to a degree, maybe. Now, the address I was counting count is six. Uh, these are non-minority areas, and corruption is like Rob Lagojevich, Pat Burke, what are we doing to steal money? That's corruption, bro. The address they listed are in white or whiter communities, and it's been long known and said and documented that this is where corruption happens at. People, scandals, all kinds of scandals. Now, if you want to say, well, if the article said, well, the most violent zip codes in, you know, or, or addresses in Chicago, then I can see the addresses in maybe Inglewood and Austin and Garfield Park. That's a huge difference. When they say corrupt, corruption is the stealing of state and government funds. Corruption is the putting people on, giving them contracts, a nepotism in Chicago, like it always is. That's corruption, bro. So them addresses, they made perfect sense to me. That's why I thought it was hilarious. Mm. But you got to dig and find that kind of shit. Okay. They're, they're telling the most people get shot at all so the time. So an act of corruption happened on a specific time and date on that street. I think... I know by reading that, reading the article that uh, corruption took place everywhere. But the people that uh, there were the proprietors of like that word of uh, uh, six of these corrupt acts lived at those addresses. Okay. Yep. Because one of them was a uh, Blagos, uh, Blagojevich's uh, address. Oh, for real. Yep. Oh well, yeah. We, we know he corrupt. You know, it's, it's no secret there. He got out of jail, didn't he? Yeah. All right. And, and he's good. I'm sure he's still. A him and his hairpiece. Him and his hairpiece was doing a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? This is going to be black excellence. This is going to be black excellence, man. Yeah, I my gotta, dinner work. Yeah, that's, that's once it's complete, man, uh, you know. Bro, I ain't even going to say no words. I'm just going to walk around smiling, though. Yeah, he's going to be cheesing. He's going to be cheesing. Yep. Yeah. Um, shout out New to- New teeth, who this? Shout All to, day. Shout out to Dilla, all right? Uh, Sherman Dilla Thomas. Uh, he's the black historian of Chicago. He's crazy with his facts, blowing up all over the internet. Got, got big things happening with Netflix for his show. Uh, again, we're gonna we gonna bring bring him on so y'all y'all can hear his story and 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 hear more about Chicago because he's right on brand with what we do. Uh, but he just teamed up with Groupon. Um, let's see, let's see, he teamed up with Groupon, yeah, for a National Black Business Month, right? And and that's cool because he also runs uh, a tour in Chicago, right? So a tour like, like a bus tour, bus tour, a bus tour, a bus tour, and you know he drop, drops his facts as you're going. Through the through the city, you know, and, and he does a lot of, a lot of why, black facts. Why they can't do it in box heavies? That would kind of be kind of dope. In Chicago, like a motherfucker. Yeah, but how 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 do you? How would you? You don't think white folks love to get in the box heavy with sounds and ride around the city? No, they would love that. They love the black experience, bro. You might be right. They love the black you might experience, be right. and it's not me shitting on any other culture. You know what I'm saying? But people love the black experience. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> box heavy on CCs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, some old Capri. The bubble, the bubbles. Yeah, man. So let me let me let me let me get this right. All right. So the pair will help consumer discover and buy from black owned businesses during the month of August. Okay. So basically, again, a tour, you're gonna stop by, you're gonna you're gonna hear about the land, you're gonna hear about the area, you're gonna hear about this black business, you know, and we're gonna go from there. Again, shout out to Dilla Who shout out. Dilla, who who are, who is your attorney? Okay, who's your PR guy? Because you're killing right now. All right, uh, a deal a deal with Groupon, Groupon is still big. I can't remember last time I shopped. I got something off Groupon, uh, yeah, but for a it, minute, it's bro, too, they, it's too close to free for you. You don't like that. Yeah, that's true. If it's free, it ain't for me. This, this Negro's bougie. Yeah, if, if it's man, that's my coach over. If it's free, it ain't for me. I'll tell you what. If it's fast, it don't last. If it's my, slow, it's for sure. I like some fast shit. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> I wonder why the month of August was the chosen month. Mm. I, I bet you numerically, statistically, there's a safe reason to choose August. I bet you money. It could be kids going back to school. I was going to say that. Yo, that that's what kids, anything, I mean, parents bro. spend money. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, uh, that's, that's, that's business. So that's really, that's really business. fucking smart, man. You know, uh, and also, we got to pick, okay, we already said box Chevy, maybe the bubble Caprice. Chicago's known, for, certain cars are famous to us in Chicago. I think the Astro Van is mm. also one of them, bro. So he needs to have a fleet of cars to give them a more authentic experience <laughs> when riding around and touring areas in Chicago. I actually like that. I actually <laughs> really like bro. that. And, and and you know what? Every every what Friday Saturday when I get off work, they they're downtown. You already know. I know you talking about already, bro. Man, and they going crazy. 
You know what I mean? It's like a low rider little, little situation going Fast on. Fast and Furious yeah, Pilsen. Yeah, yeah. Canal I, I, Street. I love it. I love it. Um, also on Black Excellence, shout out to Jamal Green. He shout is, out, Jamal. He is Chicago's youngest married oral candidate at the tender age of 26. You did really good with that, bro. Yeah, I did. It was, you saw that. Put that yeah on Mayorio. Yeah, you know what I mean? Mayorio, I had to yeah. that up. Um, but now... Shout out to you for running, brother. I wish Kenny was here to get you for that word, though, for real. <laughs> Absolutely. Shout out to you for running. Um, I believe he was almost, he, I, nah, almost, I think he's an activist and he speaks on a, right. lot, a, a lot of the, um, the issues in Chicago dealing with the youth. Um, and public the, safety. Public safety, the whole nine, right? Occasion, things like um, that. I'm not sure was at a common 26, talking point. can you get enough investors behind you to, you know, that make need, sure We, we need that, though, at that age, right? No, for sure. For sure. But now... Is 26 too young to run the city? No. No. At some point, it, it, one man doesn't run the city. You always have a team with you. The right people around him would help. We need something to entice, something to make the political world sexy to our kids. Look, okay. no, no disrespect to Lori. Like like no, no disrespect to Lori at all, bro. But looking at her, make kids want to crack jokes, bro. It do. Talk about her hair, her big suit. Her right over left hand, so you know where she's standing at with it. You know what I'm saying? For real. Then, you know, looking to her counterparts, they're all old. Uh, they are very unsavory to the eye. You know, you look, why don't these kids now, are, they are all optical. All right. What they see is what they want. What they see is what they want to represent and will enforce and endorse. You know what I'm saying? So if they see somebody like Jamal, young, first of all, look at this picture, bro. What I tell you before the show, this boy like he pick up a video game and just master it. Oh yeah, 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 one yeah. one rip. His streaming numbers are crazy. God I'm damn, sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, then you see somebody like Jamal. You know, uh, we need to see uh, Jamal Cole. You know, uh, somebody in his age range. Not that he's a baby. You know what I'm saying? No, no disrespect to Swain, who's our guy. Or oh, damn, Cheryl, Sharice, Sharice. I'm sorry, Sharice. Had to get your name wrong. I'm sorry about that. Don't hurt me. You know, we need to see them, you know what I'm saying, as well. A new look, a new fresh look, man, to bring in new eyes and, and, and new, new ideas. minds and ideas. ideas. Yeah. Because yeah. Jamal, right. don't quit, bro. Run again. Run, run, run till you win. You know what I'm saying? Give away free shit like Willie. Well, so far, he's, a, he's raised approximately 25000 Nah, that's not enough. It's pocket change, Hakeem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For goodness sake, Hakeem. Je My pocket change. Je Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, it's, it's not enough. But again, I, I think it's, it's. So wait. It's hope. If this is coming to America, since we talked about, you know, the, we just did the accent. We talked about movies that didn't need to be rebooted. Which character would you be in coming to America? I knew I think you would be. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested in hearing this. Let me hear, hear no, what you See, this is what Negroes do. <laughs> I asked him a question first. He going to turn the shit around. <laughs> I'm still semi, bro. I think you're Mr. McDowell, bro, because you have a daughter. I think you're Mr. McDowell, bro. You're a businessman. Oh, uh, you're not afraid to start your yeah, own but, shit? but McDowell pawned his daughter off. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't pawn my fucking child off. And, 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 see my and face he, camera? And he switched. He switched quick as hell. Pawn he, sounds he, so bad. He, he, wanted, he wanted his daughter bro, to win, bro. No, no. He was all about your soul glow. The soul glow guy, right? Ooh, say that shit, right? bro. Come on, dog. He was all about him. And then the moment... An opportunity, he lived to his daughter as, as, as an asset. You wouldn't want your daughter to choose up? That's when you know the first guy wasn't shit. He, he was the shit until the, the next new guy popped up. Mm, who was better, Hakeem or Daryl? Mm. No, money, no money involved, bro. Who was better? Hakeem had a true heart. <laughs> Fuck out of here. And he had a servant. <laughs> I, I'd definitely be motherfucking uh, Joffy Jofa, bro. No, nah, you know, I'd be, the <laughs> <laughs> be Joffy, bro. I, I would say I'm semi, man, just because I know how to be... The number two guy, right? So I get the number two Who guy. Who the fuck you talking about? Hold on. Hold Help! On. <laughs> Help! The number two guy can learn so much, <laughs> right? Then figure out how to start his own. Like if I was semi, right? I'd, if I'd, you were semi, I'd have been starting my own, my own tribe, right? I, I'd use. How would you do that? He gave him three hundred thousand in queens. I'm taking that three hundred thousand and I'm flipping it. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? You start an uh, African podcast? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no Kenny to get back with his it's tribe. It's called The Real Penis. It's clean. The Real Penis is clean, <laughs> goddammit. You said, Wait, no Kenny? Bro, I, I would be Joffy Jofa because of how I treat Cameron, bro. That's what I think. Because what? How I treat Cameron. Okay. He can do no wrong. My pocket does not end for him. My, my son works. That's what you want. I have my mama. Okay. When I found out he had, ask his OG. 
When I found out he had an actual job, <laughs> he gets a check, bro. I boosted you not. I was mad as fuck. Fuck is he doing with that? He don't need it. He know his daddy is his dad was slave like a Jamaican man in living color. Well, slave, bro, so he, ain't got, he can have whatever he want. So I'll be Joffy Tofu, bro. Absolutely. Okay. Man, I'm not going, but okay. I think you'd be Louis Anderson, though. You'd be Louis Anderson, I think no, about it. No, see, now you're getting disrespectful. No, I'm, talking about, I'm, I'm talking about that because you're short now. No, but I'm, now I'm a, white, I'm a fat white guy. I did not say fat or white. I just called you That's short. That's what he is. How, tell me how am I Louis? Well, because, because of this. No, boy, listen to me real quick. I'm being dead serious. Because how many times does Louis go to the barbershop, you think? Come on. Zero. Twice. No, you just said you're going to do, right? Twice a month. You see, I bought this shit back around? Yeah, Come on, no, man. Trash. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> nope. Not going. Not going at all. Okay, you got to be somebody else then. You got to be, uh... <laughs> who can they be? He's not here to refute this. So this is going to be fun. Who the fuck will can they be, bro? Oh. In, in Kende's mind, he's definitely Hakeem. He's Hakeem and Semi. And Joffy, bro. He's all of them. <laughs> <laughs> He's all of them, dog. Yeah, I, I can see oh, that. Oh, shit. I can see that. All right, man. We that's, got that's, the golden that's arches. We got the golden arcs. Who else we got, man? Oh, um, eh, I don't even know if this is. This isn't. What is it? This is a uh, plazas that's planned to be built in, in Chicago 9, in, in nine Chicago neighborhoods. Um, we are in the world of, of the internet. And we've been here for quite some time. I don't know who still goes to a plaza. And I don't know. We would to shoot a show. Yeah, that's cool. For sure. That boy but, said he, that was so unconvincing. Yeah, but. <laughs> that boy ain't get out the bed. To, <laughs> to build a plaza, right? Pla, pla, first of all, the, the, the word plaza is just so old. When I right. hear plaza, I think. By the mall. Z- Zares, stupid, I dog. think Kmart. Right? What's wrong with them stores? Nothing. I've been down that was That was the place to go, right? A plaza. Yeah. What else? Right? What's another no. old store, bro? Oh, oh, fuck. I said Zares. Who else I got? Not Sears. Sears, Robux, Sears. Uh... Sears, Sears was, uh, they've been in some plazas. There's some old ones. Bro. Hold on, dog. Yeah, but anyway, man, the word plaza is just trash. And to to build those now, I think is 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 corny because you can get everything online. Like, the plaza is... Outdated like going to the mall. When's the last time you went to the mall? Well, I think And how empty are, was it? They are using the term plaza differently, bro. I think it's uh spaces that are designed in areas where you can actually set up pop-up shops and shit like that, bro. All right, so I think they're doing, bro. Again, Lightfoot, all right, announced that 10 new plazas, public plazas, will uh create spaces for recreation. Performances, perform up shops, gardening, and in, uh, in, in, in different neighborhoods across the city. <sighs> so, Mark, what, Marshall what? Fields. No, no. <laughs> Again, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not with the plaza thing. It, just, yeah, it, 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 does, it doesn't make sense to me. It's a it's a bunch of old stories we are forgetting about, bro. We bolts. Who? We bolts. No. I thought you said we bolts. You said what? Woolworths. You, know you said oh, Weebos. What the fuck is Weebos? Thank you. Hell no. You see how you call me stupid that fast? What the fuck is Weebos? You so bougie. Yep. No. <laughs> I, no. I'm not into I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Did, I missed that one. Yeah, give give me another one. And I stole out of one of them too, bro. And I, got, got my ass beat for stealing. <laughs> I, I stole some Transformers, bro. <laughs> I stole the shit out of Miss Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Big facts. Uh, that, okay, I, I, I this what taught me to steal out people, uh, uh, chicks' purses. Still out that store. I was good. I say this is this is our calling right here. God damn. Well, shit, you still still in our mom bar because every time I look up, I got a, a, a so bottle missing. missing. These are facts. Fuck. Not disputing that. All Woolworth. Right. It's another store too. Fuck, man. Woolworth. Wow. Yeah, that shit was trash. But anyway, man. Um, you know, maybe it can be cool. I think I think the pop up shop is is a is a dope thing because. Um, you a creator, bro. You should appreciate that, no, bro. I, I, no, Why I, you shit on turn plaza, I can, bro? I can appreciate the pop up shop spot because okay, let's let's take Dave uh, Dave Jeff for instance. Right, he uses Shout his out, space. Pop. He uses his space to do pop up shit. Right, right. Um, I think that's cool. Right now, that that's a revenue opportunity, and it gives creators a space to go. Right, get that. But now, if you're putting again big box stores inside this plaza, uh, I, I just I don't see. No, it. I, we gotta, see it. I think we are as a culture, not just black people. But the economic coach, we are moving away from uh, majority brick and mortar, bro. We are no, moving sure. toward a space where these kids like to create shit and pop up. And this, to me, this is a step in the right direction, bro, because at least she may be out of tune on a lot of things. At least she's in tune with this. 
pop up here. Like they had the uh, fuck man. I, I'm, I'm getting old. I, I remember more shit than I ever could, uh, have ever fucking learned, bro. But now pop up is the thing. If you know something's not gonna be around for a long time, why would those that are thirsty to, to be in the new, to those who cop the retro Georgia that come out, the limited limited design shirts, shoes, pants, purse bags, pop up that day. Why would they not pop up and spend that money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But get the money fast, they gone, and they'll, they'll keep doing it, bro. All right, they'll keep doing it. I, I like that. Um, no, no, no. So we had we had a well, you we, hated, we, huh? we had we had a conversation off mic. What was what was the topic that 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 we said we was gonna? Uh... I'm the greatest. You're the greatest. This is important right here, though. Uh, I think his name is Brad or <laughs> Sean Michelson. Let me look it up before I, so I can get this right. Because this goes right along the line of uh, Breonna Taylor's murderer. You back there, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keep talking, bro. Let's no, no, because I'm, 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 I'm trying to think about... Do talk anyway. I'm trying to think about the conversation that we had. And we was like, oh, that's a good one. Um, Travis and Greg McMichael, who were the main culprits in killing Omar Arbery uh, sentenced to life in prison for a hate crime. Good job. To me, I'm going to clap that the fuck up. Goddamn right. Hold on, hold on. Let me get these, let me get these claps, man. Absolutely. We cannot leave that shit the fuck out. <laughs> that's a new clap, huh? Yeah. That, that's, the, that's the white people cheering for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to give you the black claps. The neighbor who said he knew nothing about it but recorded everything got 35 years. Okay. Good. Hey, use your phone now, buddy. Court itself getting hidden uh, behind <laughs> cement and steel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that was important to mention. But uh, we talked about what's the difference between the friend zone and the bro zone yeah, or something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay, okay. Yeah, friend so, zone. Still king of that motherfucker. So, Stop playing with me. Right. All right. It's, it's, it's time to real quick before we get up out of here. All right. So when a woman friend zones you and or... Brother zones you. There's no and. It's just an or. Okay, two or. <sighs> Abbasi feels like they're, they're, they're two different things. All right? I feel like if a woman's friend zones you or she has brother zoned you, it's the same thing. Just two different terms. Because why, why do you feel it's the because same thing? Because you're, you're not going to smash. Because either way, she, she's put you in a zone. She's put you in a no smash zone is what I'm saying. That's a difference to me, bro. I think the friend zone is elementary, all right? In terms of education, it's elementary, you know what I'm saying? You have to graduate, which is not really a good thing. It's like a downgrade to the bro zone, which is not a bad thing either, though, because she trusts you that much. You are a bro. You got her back. She knows you're good. You're moral. She can get drunk, fall asleep, and you're not. she's not going to get violated. Kudos facts. to all those bros. Facts, facts, I got facts, sisters facts. like that, too, you know what I'm saying? They're only in good hands. Y'all cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh... I had friends. I had been friends owned by people. And to me, the friends on means you can't have this pussy right now. <laughs> you can't, you can't, so, you can't so have this pussy right now. Wait, 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 wait. You're contradicting bro, yourself. Bro, no, bros on me, you never get the pussy. No, no, no. I ain't no. contradicting shit. You are. If, you, if she's put you we in the friend zone. We had a whole show, bro. Hold on. If she put you in the friend zone, are you saying now that she can't trust you to pass out on your couch because in your dirty, nasty mind, you're going to try to do something? It don't mean that at all. You, you, just said, you just said that means I ain't getting the pussy my, right my now. My character doesn't change from zone to zone. Okay, good. I just use that as an good, example. Good recovery. No, good it's just the truth, bro. Even, even my female friends okay. can fall the fuck asleep. Okay. They good. They can get drunk. They good. I'm designated driving. Okay. They out. They short on the bill. I, okay, I, I'll take care of that. Maybe you pay me back. Maybe you don't. But next time I want to find people from Harold's or Coleman's or Remus, you fucking get that shit for me, though. That's it. For, now, see, now you're, you're trying to... Put dividers in the friend zone. I'm just I'm trying, just, to, trying I'm, to include everything, sex and everything in the friend I zone. I just want some clarity. Okay, I just cool, want cool. some clarity, right? Because the friend zone, you just don't have you can't you, for some reason right now, you are she's not sexually or intimately available to you. She's not available to you on an intimate you level. Keep saying right now, which means that you're gonna wait it out. We had a whole episode. I know. It's not even waiting, bro. The what? friend zone is a space. How about this? When you out on a date, are you expecting sex? Yes. Oh, I'm not. It's a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> when I go on a date, I, I talk about younger brothers this and my nephews this. Bro, you go on a date with a woman, bro, have a good time. The purpose of a date is to enjoy yourself. Mm-hmm. If you enjoy yourself, is there, se- there's no sex, losing. Is sex not a, 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 a enjoyable? It is, but it's... Okay, then. But, so, so 
from from my perspective, right? If you're dating, right? And I'm going dating. Out, if you're dating, if you're going out on a date, dating and going out is different, bro. All right, fuck it. You going out on on, see, on a date on a date? Nice, nice. No, I'm, I'm not going to try to blur the line. I'm not going. I'm is not dating going, and court the same thing? I'm not going to move the goalposts before you, you go did. there. Before you go there, all right? Flag on the play, all right? <laughs> what I'm saying is, if I go out on a date with you, mm-hmm. I've taken time out of my schedule to spend my money to do to have a good time with this this young lady, right? If you take somebody out, okay, so going out on a date and dating is different. You are, you yeah, have yeah, to yeah, think yes, it's right. Yes, okay, cool. Yes. Cool. Yeah. All right, bet. Take you out first date, right? We've uh, clearly, we've had a few conversations before I've decided to take you out, assuming. Yeah. Okay. okay. Do you have to give me some? No. Am I mad if you don't? No. Probably are. Do I expect it? Yes. Why do you expect it though? Because I'm me, first of okay. all. Okay. Because right. I'm me. And if you're going oh. out, if you if you're going out with me, beyond the fact that I'm a good guy, right? You probably find me attractive. So why why are we waiting? <laughs> Fuck you, me. I don't need anybody to tell me. I look in the mirror every day and I know, damn, I'm a handsome motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fly motherfucker. Right? All that may be true. Matter of fact, fuck the all of this, bro. You true. fly as fuck, bro. Yes. But she don't owe you no, no coochie cat. She don't. See, I said that's like an old man in the coochie cat. <laughs> she don't owe me, right? Now, it all depends on how bad I want the coochie cat. Thirstiness is <laughs> the oh my God. <laughs> if, See that? If, they, if, if, if I'm man going can to be your brother. If I'm going to <laughs> if I'm going to follow up, right? If I'm going to follow up, right? Again, you know, I think I think the lines get very to some people. Very blurred. Right? To some people. Now I don't think there's a man on earth that says, I look at this woman, oh, I can't wait to be her brother. I, I think initial conversation Preach. Right, starts with Preach. an attraction. Preach. Okay? Now, if you are okay Attract- with- what, 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 what kind of attraction, though? You're going to make my point for me, though, eventually. Like y'all did, we had the friends on episode 200 episodes ago, bro. Y'all I'm, made my fucking point, and people start coming back around to my side. But, it's easy. But you, but you added to the conversation today about I ain't the, shit. the bro, the bro, the bro part. Okay, right. I feel like when uh, if a woman says, "Okay, no, he's friend zone," right? You, you, you're you're on record saying, "Hey, that doesn't mean that that can't change." Your sister, your sister saying, can right? look good. Your bro can look good. If you're a female talking, they yeah, can look good. Right. But for some reason, you don't have that willingness that won't. You know, I attracted to them. Y'all are better off as, and this goes unspoken and doesn't need to be said, as bro and sis, you know, from another mother. Now, friend zone, I'm not trying to put labels or anything on anything, but friend zone is where you are when, it's where you are when y'all cool, there's an attraction there on an intimate level. It may be minimal, but timing may not be right. Situations may not be right. Uh, it may not be the best thing for either one of y'all at that moment. You see what I'm saying? So now, you don't, even if you still go out with this, if she goes out with him or he goes out with her, there are no expectations to sex, all right? The possibility that happening- that, That's key right there, what you just said, okay? You see what I'm saying? No, I, but see, I, I live my life as the ugly guy. So, so, the, so your I, perspective I live, I live is different. my life, bro. Your perspective is different. I'm not expecting to get nothing from this girl. But this is if what I'm I get a hug at the end of the night, bro, I'm happy. Okay, so I'm, now, if she now, had a good time, I'm happy, bro. What, what I'm saying is, brothers and sisters know when they're not the most attractive, right? They know this. Why I gotta be a, a look thing, though? I threw it out there because you that's, may be handsome. It may, it may be a fine woman and a handsome man going out together what as I, friends. What I'm saying is, initial, I look at you, you look at me, right? I, think, okay. I think every person on this planet looks at someone and says, oh, so, they're fuckable. No, He's fuckable. That She's too. fuckable. So you, right? That's all I'm saying. In an educated manner, we're going to say like this, bro. In an educated manner, something attracts you to that person, right? Yes. Cool. Now, there are times where, you know, you, you, get, you get to a party, right? Or, um, or or get together, and you you scan the room. You say, okay, she's attractive. She why, right. you, why you scanning the room? What do you mean? I'm single. I can scan the room. Okay. Right. So boom, you you see you see what's going on. Boom, boom. Right. Your initial person is like, damn, that person is fine. But then you find out as the night goes on, oh, they got a terrible attitude. They're ugly on the inside. Right. And, You're not gonna be the person friend no way though, bro. But what I'm saying, I'm talking about what initial initial interaction. Right. right. Now as the night as, as the night goes on. The one that you may have said, uh, oh, she she cool, but now after having conversations with her, like, oh no, she she the dopest one out of everybody here to me, based on energy, conversation, you know, okay. whatever you picked up on. I'm not disputing none of that, bro. That's all right? facts. So 
again, before you even get to being friend zone or bro zone, I always think it starts with an actual attraction. And then if you even if you were attracted to someone by their looks, that's true, right? Their sense of humor, their conversation, oh, excuse me, several things attract you to somebody. Yes. But then, right, you find But you're out, saying something has to pull you toward the person initially. Yes. That's, that's fine. That's, I agree with that. That's all I'm saying. But once you realize what it is, why hope for, for pussy or dick after that? If you are better have a platonic relationship, we're like, fam, she cool. Oh, she the plug too? She cool? She like music, I like music. Man, we, we fam, if, I see, if you see somebody out, a lot of times it happens like this. You'll meet somebody and you try to holler. They're re- they'll reject you in a way where it's like, it's cool. It's, it's all right. It's, acceptable. it's not hurting your pride. They have to do it in a, in a let you down hard type of way, put you down hard type of way. So you may see them out and be Chicago small. The world is small as we get become adults. The world is small. You may see them out and y'all speak. Oh shit, now we're at a party now. Here goes the bar. I get you a drink. Next time you see her, she gets you a drink. Mm-hmm. You out at a restaurant. Bro, you see it with your girl, you know what I'm saying? Now y'all been seeing each other for like two years, three years. You've been seeing each other out. Not y'all even know each other. Y'all become social media friends in the age of social media now. Y'all social media friends. That's not each other now. IG, Facebook, Twitter, all this shit. Say she's a, a mover and shaker in the community, in the culture. Y'all bound to bump heads, bro. Why not be cool with these motherfuckers? Why expect pussy? Things happen like that. It, it evolved. Things are nurtured without us trying to nurture them. I'm not mad at that. And if I'm throwing you some bail, I hate your I'm haircut, saying, bro. I'm saying, no, that's fine too. It's not $40, though. Mar- Marlon, he hates your haircut. <laughs> um, what, I, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying, if I'm throwing you some bail, right? Okay, I don't need I, bail. I, I, I do my balls. I, I almost said that shit. Do though. your dirt by, by by yourself. But I'm saying, if I'm throwing Absolutely. you some bell, right? I do understand the conversation where people say, "Man, me and my 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 husband, me and my wife were friends before mm. we became intimate." Mm. Talk right? that shit there. Now I you want to preach? I, I get that. Mom right? Brooks. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I think I think my my mind always goes to initial interaction. But well, why stay there though? That's premature. Why stay there? You you, you you passed your infant stage emotionally, intellectually, physically, a long time ago. So why should why should the adult mind frame? And people have to understand this too, though. Because we're grown, we don't always have adult ways of thinking. We don't always have a fully formed, when I say adult, I mean fully formed relationships with people. Things are still growing. I, I've known some people my entire life I didn't fuck with. Now that I'm grown, I'm like, this motherfucker is the shit. It's cool, yeah. I mean, prime, prime the example. The shit, bro. Prime example, you know what I mean? Kurt, my man. You know what I'm saying? CB, big hand, you know Kurt I mean? like, n- Never had no issue with Kurt. I mean, we just wasn't tight. Except like the that. fact that, like, one of y'all is like dawn, one of y'all is dusk. Become a skin complexion. That's it. I got you. I got you shots of Kurt, man. Uh, Kurt, know I love it, man. Kurt, 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 my man. Kurt, you know what man. I mean? But um, no, so I, I do get that. So, I mean, if we're talking about timing, and, and, and maybe this also goes to if we go beyond relationships. I think in every relationship, maybe it becomes timing, right? I just told, I just told my, uh, my young boy the other day. There you fucking go. Um, I said, look, man, you have to always show up as the best version of yourself, regardless if it's you, you're dealing with your girlfriend, if you're dealing with your coach, if you're dealing with a teacher, right? Take a deep breath. Take a step back for a second and process, right? Okay. Um, you may not understand where someone's coming from at that time. You may not understand. Maybe they had a bad day. Whatever the right. case may be, this right? Is true. It's true. It's, it's about process. Sometimes you and, meet and the best time. people on the wrong day, bro. Yes. Because we're human. Yes. But like, fuck that. Let's progress this conversation real quick. All right? Let's make a little progress. You have a bro or sis. Mm-hmm. You have a friend of the other. Mm-hmm. But you also have a significant other. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's acceptable... What's acceptable as far as we have to explain to them how this is your friend, how this is your bro? You know if what? She had to explain to you why, hey, if, if the missus had to explain to you why this is her bro, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what's acceptable? For me, I would just, I, I would have to take the word as face value. Look at this guy. This guy's right? grown. He's, this guy's grown. No, you know, you have He's to. He's grown today. Now think about it. <laughs> He's grown. He went from expecting pussy to take somebody at face value. This guy's good. You, you, you absolutely have to because if you don't, Guess what? Every time this, this person's name is brought up or, or this person comes around, right? You're looking for, for things that feed what you believe to be true. Okay. Right? And it's actually not that. So if I'm trusting my significant other to say, man, oh, this is literally my bro, regardless of how I feel about how they actually maybe have met and what his intentions were, she has the power to cut the ties immediately. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm right, with you. I, right. thought, I just thought of, thought of uh, two things, though. 
I, but, and, and, and I think that's dope. Now, I think, the, on, I think on the flip side of that, I, w- I would ask you, have you ever had to friend zone a woman? Like, do men do that? You know what, dog? I prefer a friendship with a woman over any kind of intimacy, bro. I do because you can learn so much from talking to women because me and my mental sphere of thinking, I had a lot of shit all wrong, bro. Yeah. All wrong. And then, a, a you know. A lot of times we do. Having a child with somebody, then not being with that person, and then moving on to another relationship, and then frivolous one night stands. Yes. Frivolous one night stands, bro. Whore. Thank you. It's cool. Man, I'm a whore for Jesus, though. You for know what I'm saying? Juking for Jesus. <laughs> Guy, uh, Bossy Brooks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be Brooks today, huh? I've learned so much, man. And then it, it kind of balances out your testosterone, because we're logical. We all need some emotion, emotion uh, to come in and help our logic, bro, because Sometimes when situations seem like a little, little a tad too, a tad too emotional for us, our logic kicks in, it takes over and kicks the emotion out, which is, is not right. But fuck all that, all right? I'm with you on a point, I think that hit home with me, was well, I poked you with the finger. Yeah, don't touch that, me. That Dion hate, yeah, don't and touch me. hate too, though. <laughs> Motherfucking, uh, I'm a trusted person anyway, mm. when it comes down to an F. And you didn't say this outright, but this is what I, I garnered from what you were saying. If I trust you, I have no problem with who you say is your friend, who is not your friend, until they or you show me otherwise. Period. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's just say, you know, <laughs> let's just, I'm going to ask you this. This is fun talking to you, bro. Who's the most handsome man that your significant other, the missus ever said she's seen in her life? Oh, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy with the the eyes on TV. Uh, uh, who? Michael Ely. Michael Ely. Michael Ely. From like, the barbershop. Yeah. Barbershop. Yes. Yeah, Ricky. Okay, yeah. so Ricky's her friend. Okay. She said he's just friends. You you rolling with that right away? All right. You know what? I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Now, 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 this okay. is a real. This is real conversation, bro. I, I, I'm sorry. Don't don't. I'm, my bad. All right. So. <clears throat> Michael Ely. So I know a Pam Grier step up. I'm looking like you want hey. me to say that. All right. So, so my friend, friend of the show, right? Coach, I'm fucking you up too, man. <laughs> uh, what coach do, man? <laughs> the wife thinks he's 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 a nice looking man. He's very smooth. He's right? a smooth guy. And you know, she coast this, coast that. So, yeah, you know, now if, if I was an insecure man, right, I would I would take that the wrong way. You kind of are a little bit school. Yeah, I'm really not though. Mm-hmm. But, like my I'll cross the shot your ass. Yeah, never. And, oh. and, and I'll bust your ass too, Coast. Like, don't even trip. <laughs> um, but, right, so, again, that's fine, right? Because, A, I trust Coast, right? Right. And That goes a long way, too. Yeah. Yep. And, and B. quality people. Yeah, it's not, okay, I introduced them. She met him through me. Doesn't mean she's going to backdoor me, right? Because I know the type of person that she is, right? Now, if, again, because if, I, if I'm being naive or if I'm just trusting, at the end of the day, do what, do what you're going to do, but you're not going to do that according to who I think you are. And if you do, then okay, so be it. It is what it is. Now I have to address Coast and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, 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 I, and, I, and I'll, I'll address her. But at the end of the day, right, people are human. And, and it's no different than if I think one of her friends are attractive. It's not saying, oh, man, I can't wait to fuck her. You know what I mean? It's just like, okay, she cute. You know what I'm saying? Um... You, you walk on a thin line, bro. No, I, I am. I, I got, got shield. I got shield to cut that shit. I am. Now, I don't. I don't feel away, bro. I, I really don't feel away. If you think, first of all, I think all my niggas is fly anyway, right? So wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm sitting I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm starting with you. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm starting with you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate the respect. And I appreciate you for being honest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but right, your, your 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 fly comes in in in, in different forms. All right, whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, bro, I can't, I can't tell a woman, oh, you don't, you can't say that my friend is cute, Facts. right? She feels confident enough in who she is and who I am and, and, and our union to be like, man, he's a good looking guy. And, and beyond that, like, he's cool as shit. I'm going to be honest, bro. Right? That's, I don't, that's fair. I don't to care about anybody that. anybody I've ever dated, if young Pam Grill and young Kenny Milwaukee in the door, y'all can give it the fuck up. <laughs> y'all can give it the fuck up. 
I am, what's that, don't entertain on these bitches out here? Yeah. I'm going to dance and start stepping and fetching, <laughs> shocking and jiving, Mantan. all that shit. Mantan is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go bananas. You're going to be so embarrassed about me. Fuck, <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> you know, that, yeah, that, that's that's a great conversation, though. You know what I'm it saying? It is, though, because, man. Because, like, bro, like, people people think because you're in a relationship or that you, you get married that you have blinders on, right? You can't, Wait you can't minute. not say that someone's attractive. Right, you can be attracted to someone. Can friends sleep together? Fuck all that. You you been real, really good right now. I, I appreciate you being very logical. Yes. Emotionally in tune. Yes. I appreciate all this shit. And I yes. fucking hate it at the same time. Yes. So, can friends actually sleep together? In the in the same bed or actual? Can fucking? they fuck? Can 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 they do motherfucking uh, American History X curb stomp the pussy, and then the man and woman remain friends after that? They can they can call themselves friends. They can call themselves friends. Um, Interesting. Interesting. I disagree like 100%, like 1,000%. They, they can call themselves friends because guess what? Yeah, we are friends, right? So friends with benefits is not, that's oh, different that's than what, friends. No. I, I think it's different things, but. Once you fuck, you're, fr you're a friend with benefits. What are you talking about? So if you, have a, if you are a friend of the opposite sex and something happens and y'all sleep together, is the friendship line blurred now? Something happens. I initially, probably not. But guess what? Feelings will get involved. Feelings hey, will man, get involved. Let's not. Let's keep it a buck. Some of uh, but what between who? People like to think when they think of emotion, they think of the fairer gender. No, not no, us. I, no. I think I think a man. I think, I think, I think a man. On both sides. I think a man will catch feelings first in in, in that in that particular scenario. You want to know why? Yeah. Because hey, man, it's like man, I really got a friend in this woman. And we had sex and it was great. That's a good point, dog. Do you know what I'm saying? That's a good point, dog. He was immediately on the line, like, you know what? That was weird that we went there. It was great. It was good for you. Yeah, it was okay. She may be like, it was okay. She, like, you know, man, what you mean, okay? No, I thought it was great. She's like, ah, yeah, it was this, it was that. And then next thing you know, he, man, well, what you doing tonight? Where you at? Who you with? Woo -woo. You know what I'm saying? Immediately, because we've already attached ourselves to this woman in a platonic space. And now that we finally got a chance to get in, in tune with, the, the savage animal instinct part of a man. That seems very that, controlling to me, though. I'm just trying to tell you. Part. It does. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I'm just telling you that if you if you got if you got the friend and then you get the booty. <laughs> you said the booty. What are we, back in the 90s? Yeah. You know the, booty mean, like, up. the booty up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, like, I, I, yeah, I, I think a man would, would immediately, too. immediately catch That's just catch stomping fillers. trunks. Yeah. Uh, I think that's, that's a tricky a tricky question and a slippery slope as well, but I do think that you can sleep with a friend and still be genuine friends. You know, if you know how to put the barrier between, which is makes you maybe a callous person. Are we talking about a one-time situation or are we talking about consistently? Uh, that's, that is the question, but I think you can consistently sleep with somebody and still be friends. Okay, so, so you sleep, the woman sleeps with the friend one time. And do that's, they have- That's called a mistake, right? Is it a mistake? Errors happen over and over again. Mistakes happen once, allegedly, according to definition or some shit like that. Okay. So then, now this is just taking me to so many different levels. Um, is that considered a, a one-night stand? If it happens once, yes. What the fuck kind of other math is you going to do, bro? If it happens once, but, this is a one-night stand. No, a one-night stand is typically considered, you know, you meet someone one time at a club, at a spot, at a venue, whatever. Yo, one, fuck, one, one, that's it. That's it. Cool, one-night stand. Okay, it happens so, again. Is it a fling? Is it a thing? Is it a side piece? Now, titles, which is the titles, are some of the most overrated things to discriminate and demean people I've ever heard in my life. Like, okay, I'm not saying anybody should be this or do this or if it's a bad thing or not, but side dude and side chick is really like so negative. Sugar daddy, sugar mama, so negative. Why does everything have to get a fucking title? I've never been blessed enough to get a sugar mama. Now I think about it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, you say old bitches don't want you? Maybe not. Maybe not. Or do, or do sugar mamas... Well, now in 2022, sugar mamas and sugar daddies ain't shit before 40. You're the perfect age. No, I'm mm, mm, not the key. You got the right... You got, you got the sugar daddy haircut too, and I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sugar daddy. Oh, my God. Molly, Molly, hey, Molly, give me the sugar daddy. Girl, nice, here, girl's nice and motherfucking tight <laughs> shit. Blend, hey, blend super decent, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy... You funny as hell, man. <laughs> hey, look, look, look. That, that, that's interesting, man. I, I ain't gonna run over on time, man. You got anything else you want to add to this, uh, this bro, this bro thing? Uh, first of all, 
Look here, ladies. You meet a man with braids, <laughs> run from him, okay? <laughs> <About that. laughs> you run from his ass. Don't even look back. Hey, man. <clears throat> nah, not, nothing, bro. I mean, but you know, I think that I'll, I'll shut the fuck up after this when I feel like it. Or you can cut the motherfucking sound off and I can talk for no reason. <laughs> one of the two, because you, you're an asshole, you probably fucking do that. But uh, if you have a genuine bro or sis, you know what I'm saying, from another, a brother or sister from another mother, treat them as such, man. If you have a genuine friend uh, of the opposite sex, treat them no, as such, sure. man, and for be sure. 100 with them because those relationships go, go a long way. And uh, these are people that you can talk to, not even every day. Even every week, maybe just monthly at times. Like me and my guys from fucking uh, Indiana State, bros. We don't talk. We just started a group chat last year. Mm. We're not in our, our, our reunion, man, and, and we've been talking ever since, bro. But monthly, sometimes the group chat goes dry. But you, you got to cherish your friends because these are people you're gonna need in life. And sometimes they say some of the most inspiring or inspirational things when you when you least expect it because you know it's just like out there in the universe. Yeah. But it's like, come on, bro. You know, appreciate people, man. They appreciate you. I agree, man. Um, I think that was a dope conversation. We got we to gotta get to the bottom of uh, the friend zone and the bro zone, man. We're going to ask a question. I'm we going to pull a question. I, I can have thrown another crown for my shit, bro, for real. All right, man. That, that's because fine. I, I swear to God, bro, as an adult, I've met some of the dopest women in my life. Bro. I agree. During I agree. my life. And I've also met some... Brother McKinney, bro. I've known a man two and a half years, bro. Super dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Being an adult is cool when you know how to be an actual adult. No, no. That, now, if you're an adult with a childish mind, then it's fucked up and it's messy. Yeah, man. You know, that's why I, I you know, <clears throat> before we get out of here, uh, I always hashtag sucker free. And that shit is a real thing. Free not for him. Uh, yeah. But it's sucker free definitely is. Okay. Um, I do not want your, your cancerous, um, immature behavior around me because you don't understand me and I don't understand you. What month is Cancer's born in? You hate them too, huh? Uh, no, no. Yeah, did that. July. <laughs> we, we, we are top three. You know what I mean? Can, what? Top three Zodiacs to ever fuck with in life. Okay. Yes. All right. And look at it, dog. Yeah. I don't like the bass in your voice right now. That's cool. You, you welcome. <laughs> fuck you mean, man? <laughs> this is episode well, what, what 110, man. What famous cancer do you know? You say what? What famous cancer do you know? Current and current and relevant. Oh, uh, man. Uh, you know, this, this, I was about to be fucked up, but I know, I, I know, I know, <laughs> Herb Gotti. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, now I, I have to look him up, man. Uh, I feel like Dr. King was a cancer, if I'm not mistaken. I said current and relevant. He, Dr. King's always that man uh, is mummified right now. He's always relevant. I have yeah. to look this up, man. And maybe I posted it or something, but I, I don't Shout know. Shout out to Toxic hit. King, Future and, for being a Scorpio. <laughs> Shout out to motherfucking Drake, Scorpio. And also, I mean, <laughs> hell, myself, right? You know what I mean? Crown that's, me, that's man. Pat myself thing. on the back. Absolutely, though. Uh, episode 110. In the books. In the books, man. One of the most busiest freeways in, uh, in America, in LA. The 110. We out. Fuck your shit, Malcolm. I feel like Malcolm was a cancer, too. We on the corner. Tone was a cancer, too. Ca camera, cameraman Tone was a cancer. He not. I know. Okay. I, just, I just tried to send you off. My we parents, here, my parents are cancers. We out of here. <laughs> they not. Thanks for being a woke, dog.